A landmark prison has been a mainstay in the area, but should it stay? There are some people who would like to see the century-old Green Bay Correctional Institution developed into something else. It's a maximum security prison, occupies 29 acres in Alloway, near the Fox River, at the intersection of South Webster Avenue and State Highway 172. Fox 11's Becky DeVries takes a look tonight at the possibility of the prison making an escape from Alloway. These walls have stood for more than a century as home to Green Bay Correctional Institution. Once a bicycle factory, the first eight inmates were transferred here in 1898. Other buildings were added throughout the following 20-some years. Relatively in the middle of a, the Green Bay metropolitan area, um, when it was built, it wasn't. It was in, in farmland. In fact, uh, many of the prisoners worked on the farm that was part of the state property. Alloway Village President Steve Vandenoven says residents asked him about the future of the prison and discussed the possibility of moving it. People who live in Alloway just sort of grew up uh, with the prison being there, but uh, when I asked them the question, they thought uh, many people thought it was a good idea to at least explore it. There were some people who resisted because of uh, the historic nature of some of the buildings in the prison, and I don't think anyone is going to propose knocking down historic buildings. Um, but I think those buildings probably have a better use than being part of a prison. In fact, the prison is on both the National and State Register of Historic Places, and the Department of Corrections has looked into its needs. As part of an extensive statewide study two years ago, a consulting firm recommended about $142 million be put into the facility during the next couple of years. Despite a recommendation for millions of dollars in expansions and improvements, there are just two projects slated for work. One of them is a new visitor center. This is the current visitor center. On the second floor without an elevator, it does not comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. The other project is a new shower facility. Each of these cost about $3.8 million. Why not do more? The Department of Corrections says it competes for a small pot of money and try to move forward with projects that are high need and high priority. So what about the idea of building a new prison in the Green Bay area? There hasn't been the serious study in terms of looking at a design for where you might put a new institution. We're dealing with a statewide system at this point in terms of our population is actually declining. A spokesperson for the Department of Corrections says he thinks the state will eventually take a closer look at the prison's future as it monitors inmate population numbers. The last time the state broke ground on a new prison was 11 years ago. Red Granite Correctional Institution cost a little more than $50 million to build. It's designed to house 750 inmates. In 2001, the state bought Stanley Correctional Institution for nearly $73 million. Its capacity is more than 1,500 prisoners. Both are medium security prisons. Green Bay Correctional is a maximum security prison with a capacity for 749 prisoners. Earlier this week, the prison housed more than 1,000 inmates. It's not the only prison in Wisconsin that is holding more prisoners than it was designed for. We have to scrutinize every dollar spent, and we need to make sure that we do what's in the best interest of the community and the taxpayer. State Representative Chad Weiniger is studying the prison because Alloway's village president asked him to. But he points out building a new prison would come with a large price tag. I think what you have to do is look at the long term and you have to look at what the operational costs are, what the investment costs are, and that, that's the litmus test that has to be passed, whether or not it's even feasible to do. Weiniger says his goal is to get a local design firm in touch with the Department of Corrections and go from there. He says even if the prison stays right where it is, there are some changes that could be made to increase efficiency. Though the Department of Corrections does not have a long-term plan for Green Bay Correctional, Alloway's Village President says now is the time to be thinking about it. As far as what the prison property and buildings could be used for, Vandenoven says he has heard talk of making it an extension of Heritage Hill to turning it into a residential, retail, hotel, or condo area. Again, there are no immediate plans to build a new prison. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News.